all over the place Coconut cream pie in your face Call it justice Sassy justice so yeah, we're just watching uh, snippets of Sassy Justice, Fred Sassy, the uh, investigative reporter <laughs> from Cheyenne Mountain. What that is, as far as I can tell, was the creators of South Park uh, made these webisodes. Yeah, they have to. Uh, they did. Okay. Right. I was like, <laughs> it happens. just like them. And, and I remember I watching, like, they came out of nowhere on my YouTube feed <laughs> it, during the election. I'm like, what the hell is this? And why is it so enthralling? Why can't I stop watching? And it was clearly like the voices yeah. of them. And the reason why we're watching this now is because in the news, South Park creators' first movie since Team America was almost a Donald Trump deep fake movie. No way. So that was going to be a movie. <laughs> That would have been pretty funny. Yeah, they're saying it's sort of on hold. It was a very, very timely, and the timeliness of it has passed. We'd have to majorly rethink it to do it now. So that would be. I would. I would watch it. Now. I hope there will be more sassy justice in the future, <laughs> and maybe sassy justice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, welcome back to Shop Talk Movie News, our forty fourth installment on Clubhouse Movies Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Rubelkow, joined once again by Mr. Open End. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell notification on Twitter. We are movies clubhouse on Facebook clubhouse <laughs> movies. Just find us. You'll yeah. find us wherever if you Google us. We take up a few pages of Google. I now. know, right? Now we're, we, we're, we're, we're in there. We're a thing. We have been doing it for a while now. I know, right? Man, 44 episodes. That's of crazy. Sh- That's just shop talk. That doesn't count our reviews. And we don't do everyone one every week, too. Yeah. So do multiple ones a week. I don't know. Sometimes it evens out. I don't freaking know. crazy. But anyway, oh, man. I'll start off with some fun news. Yeah, tell me. We tell saw, me, fun guy. We saw Prey. We liked it. Yeah, we did. It's apparently uh, Hulu's biggest premiere ever. Wow. But they held that was an ace card, if you ask me. They should have yeah, done theaters. They, they, that would have done really well. That would have done well for everybody involved. Let's see. It's better uh, than that one with uh, Chris Pratt fighting aliens in the future. Oh, what was that about? Well, <laughs> I can tell you what it was about. What happened was time <laughs> is a river, and the river flows. <laughs> On either side. On either side, and you have to go in the middle yeah. to get to the... <laughs> You'll see it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I got some uh, more Santa Claus news because... Oh, no. You know, I can't get rid of my Santa Claus news here. I don't think we reported this when it dropped, but apparently David Krumholtz to reprise his role as Bernard for the Disney Plus series. And here's the thing. I don't know if... He's doing it because Disney was like, oh, my God, everybody's saying we're not going to watch this if you don't bring back Bernard the elf. He wasn't in part three, guys. Um, <laughs> he was out. He was out doing a bong rip somewhere. Yeah, he was like, I'm adulting. <laughs> yeah, does it, but you know what's funny about David Crumholtz? What's funny about him? I, I, I didn't realize it till like after this. This story came out. Yeah, he was Wednesday's boyfriend in Adam's family values. I never saw that. <sighs> See it, dude. It was really good. Wow. He was the he was the the kid she met in summer camp, <laughs> <laughs> and that's all the week wrote. <laughs> it was good though. I don't know. I gotta watch it. I think I can let it go. Sounds good. Yeah, it, it was no. the character he played. Yeah, he was no, a movie. it was good. He's back. Like He's he in did. Santa Claus. Yeah, of course. Been two movies. Santa Claus. Yeah, stoked for him to be back, man. Yeah. Apparently, we missed him enough. <laughs> yeah, the money. <laughs> Disney was also like, you know what? We can't afford to lose out on this one. Yeah, see them's family values. That was actually really good. Yeah. I think it was better than the first one. No, oh, I will have to watch it. So you got you got news? Yeah, I got all kinds of news. Let's, let's drop it, man. <laughs> hey, man, I got lots of it. You know, Ben Affleck keeps saying he's never going to be Batman anymore. <laughs> hey, hey, look at my screen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh. oh man, it turns out he'll be Batman and Aquaman too. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, or so. oh yeah, I don't know. It really depends on uh, where you fall on that side of the fence. Well, uh, I mean, I like I like Ben Affleck. At least he's not like. Whoa. Yeah, he, he's got that. He's got that synth voice going on. He's got it down. Speaking of Batman stuff, yeah, they, tell me they canceled Batgirl. Like yes, they, they did. To me, and they, they had a huge budget, man. And when I mean canceled, I mean they put it under the rug. It is shelved, as they, they say in the biz. They et Atari it. Yeah, I don't even want to say it's shelved because I don't know if it'll see the light of day. It will. The Justice League uh, had less chances of coming out. It's true. Uh, but everyone knows like, oh, my God, so many superheroes. They, they, they have this picture here of they say it's Michael Keaton in Batgirl in costume. <laughs> but the thing about it is um, it looks like Michael Keaton's stunt double. That's what I read. 
that it was his stunt double. Yeah, because it looks like the same stunt double as as the guy who played Ben Affleck, Batman stunt double. Yeah, so, like, so I don't know. I don't. I don't buy it just yet. So uh, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got another bit of DC misfortune. Oh, man, news. tell me more. I don't know if you want to go there first. No, you can do it. Go ahead. So it turns out Ezra Miller has been charged with <laughs> felony burglary. Uh, according to police. Uh, Why? Why was he charged? Please tell August me. August seventh, several bottles of alcohol were stolen from a home on May 1st. Dude, man. Dude, come on. I'm pretty we should, sure you we are should. a multimillionaire. We should cut to his agent and ask him what's up. Yeah, one of these days we should. we'll reach out to Ezra Miller and see if we can catch yeah. him. If we do, you will see a breaking news pop up <laughs> on your screen as we have him apparently in studio. Yeah, well, not not today. <laughs> it is not today. Let's see. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> you never know. You never know. Maybe he's in this this room. It's <laughs> like Tom Cruise. Just outside of camera. <laughs> you see his head bobbing in and out of frame because he's not a tall guy, <laughs> but he is a fun guy. <laughs> let's see i mean apparently he represents ezra miller just weird all right so tom, i got some uh tom cruise does. Yeah, I know. What? so i got some uh weird news here i don't know if it's weird or just unfortunate but apparently and i say unfortunate because i actually know the father of the star the guy who stars in this show as the dad so apparently the show the gordita chronicles uh that was on hbo max for one season has already been canceled and the thing is, I don't know if this has to do with them being acquired by uh, Discovery, but they may be moving away from scripted content and just doing all that reality stuff. But apparently, the show is being shopped around. Um, yeah, yeah. Apparently, you got rave reviews, man. Everybody liked it that watched it, and it still got canceled. So even if you are a good show, uh, you cannot be saved. So uh, well, sorry, buddy. Sorry, Jose. Yeah, too bad. Sucks, man. Not not the cool Jose, not the other one. Yeah, this is cool Jose. <laughs> not not. <laughs> yeah, not that guy. What else you got? Let's see. So here I have some Keanu Reeves news. Keanu, what Ke- kind of name is that? Keanu. Keanu. He's the cool guy, man. No, oh. he's the guy who never ages. He is the time traveler. Oh, I saw Bill and as the conspiracy three. goes. I saw Bill and Ted. Three. Uh, no, I'm not saying that. I mean, you people he have been ages. saying he's a conspiracy. Like, there's a conspiracy theory going on. Mm-hmm. Around. 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 That he's a vampire. <laughs> 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 anyway. So Keanu Reeves, I will say this as it's written, Keanu Reeves's first major TV role to be in a serial killer story called uh, Devil in the White City. Nice. When you so that's something. You put an emphasis on a book. You put an emphasis on serial. I'm like, is he gonna play Count Chocula? <laughs> Imagine. Oh, that'd be great. He, he's the count. He's just coming back doing Sesame Street stuff. He's like one, <laughs> two, three. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, what a jerk. Oh, the best. Okay. Well, I got I got a piece of uh, not quite movie news, but entertainment news. So uh, I've always wondered when are they going to do this? And it seems like they probably will now. Yeah. GTA six Grand Theft Auto six will feature the first female playable character in a Bonnie and Clyde type story. Okay. Hey, you know what? That's <laughs> you think she's still going to think she's still going to catch horrors and like, uh, be at the probably table, man. man. Why not? It's intense. Grand Theft Auto. It's going to be something crazy. She doesn't look like Amy Schumer or something. Cool. <laughs> uh, to go off of that little weird offbeat news here. Apparently, what is in here? You sound so much more different with my headphones off. Yeah, there you go. Right. <laughs> so, I'm like, whoa, my voice it sounds like less. <laughs> I feel like, wow. I feel like oh, I'm Rick D's in the morning and here's the joke of the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's really how I sound, right? <laughs> the joke of the day. Yeah. <laughs> no, so apparently um, I was going to say Toy Story, but apparently Toys R Us is coming back. There are nine stores currently open and more set to open, I guess, over the course of however long they freaking want because apparently they died and they cannot stay dead. <laughs> so, hey, if you want to go into a store that smells like baby vomit and baby poo and, you're, and polymer and polymer, you're more than welcome to do so. <laughs> it smells like go a ti- get yourself an RC car and a power wheel. It smells like a tire fire. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> uh, you know, though, when I did turn 16, I told myself when I was going to turn 16, I would go to Toys R Us. I would drive myself yeah. to Toys R Us, and that'd be like one of the first places I drive to when I get to drive somewhere. Did my you own. also go to KB Toys after that? KB Toys, I think, was dead before then. <laughs> Probably was. I miss KB Toys. I miss them both. And yeah. I miss their heyday. 
Their heyday was pretty nice. They they had a good thing. Hey, how long have you been in the area for? What do you mean the area? Like here. Like I've lived in the South forever. Bay my entire life. So you've been to the Lama Mall your entire life. Yeah. Do you remember like okay, you know where Burlington Co Factory is right now? Yes. Do you remember when it was a giant toy store that encompassed the entire it was, wasn't it? Yeah, right. It wasn't like a nightmare I had once. No, because it wasn't a Toys R Us. Okay. It wasn't a KB, but it was a it, giant toy store. Yeah, and it wasn't okay. an FAO Schwartz. I thought it was like a fever dream, right? I think it hit my head too many times. It was so big. Yeah, it was, was like the it was like the entire length of the Dilemma Mall, but underground. Whoa! You remember? Yeah, and it was open for like ten days. And then probably forever. yeah. And it then became it became Burlington, Burlington Co Factory forever the more. Freaking place that can survive any recession ever. <laughs> you know, I went there once. I'm like, this place sucks. <laughs> this is like another Ross. I know, <laughs> is, but with more bags. I remember thinking, I yeah, everything I wanted a coat. Like, why do they only have bags <laughs> and crap? Where are the toys at? <laughs> <laughs> it's like here are the bags you can put your toys in. Where do you get toys now? Target. I don't know. Oh, you yeah, my kids. kids. My kids like. Cause I see yeah, it. they get, they love Lego and stuff like that. So yeah, Target. Target. I haven't seen crap like that. Thank God for Drive Up, man. Drive Up saved my life because I don't have to go in the store and have to fight my kids to not, you know, get whatever the heck they want. I'm just like, hey, look, what you have has been pre-ordered. <laughs> it's pretty nice. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It, it I don't either. Hey, store comes and drops it off like babies. Just be happy. You know, right. Well, I got some. Let's see. I got some news. I don't know if it'll make you happy. Oh, it made me happy. Nothing makes bit. me happy anymore. My, yeah, no. my water heater exploded. We've been in the news. <laughs> yeah, man. We had a freaking debacle before this show started. Right. So apparently, there's going to be a DCEU reset, which will, which sounds super dumb, um, which will reset by adopting the 10 year plan similar to the MCU. They tried this like three times. I know. I'm just like, apparently. Fourth times a charm. I like how just release everything in black and white. <laughs> I, well, I, I like it how they have. There's two things that the or three. There's there's two things that always happen. One is Ben Affleck quits. Yeah, it's true. Then, and then he comes back on. And then the other one is like we're gonna reboot the DC. And then oh, we're gonna scrap the DC. And he's like, hey, you guys got money for me. He's like, they've done it like thirty times. Remember they hired Joss Whedon and that guy got canceled. Yeah, hard. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> they hit the cancel button on that guy. Oh man. Oh, okay. Well, I got like, some some Witcher news. You ever watched The Witcher oh. with Henry Cavill? He contracted. I tried, man. Apparently, they shut down uh, production production because he contracted coronavirus. Oh no! And you know what? Uh, Not even Superman can fight it. Speaking of uh, news that feels old now, because it just doesn't see out of the freaking news now. So apparently, Top Gun is back in the news because Quentin Tarantino says he loves Top Gun Maverick. He says I effing love Top Gun Maverick. It provided a true cinematic spectacle, the kind that I'd almost thought that I wasn't going to see anymore. It was fantastic. <laughs> it was. Yeah. That was fantastic, guys. Yes. It reminds me of um, Hot Shots again. War. It's fantastic. War is fantastic. Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so uh, I, got, I got some WWE news. Remember when oh. WWE was WWF? I do the World Wrestling Federation. Now it's World Wrestling Entertainment. I know this weird. The the, uh, the Wildlife Federation wanted their yeah, name back. All of a sudden, after thirty years, they're like, "No, <laughs> no yeah. we're taking it back." Like we'll give it up now. Hulk Hogan, like, okay, and no more people drawing pictures of pandas hitting each other with chairs. <laughs> Panda combat. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know what the hell happened to Vince McMahon, but apparently he's no longer the creative director of WWE. Now it's Triple H doing it now. Oh man, I got some news to piggyback on that. Really? So apparently, not even Ron- know why I <laughs> Yeah, totally random, but I just it just sparked my memory. Yeah. So apparently, Ronda Rousey, who I forgot was hired by the WWE. Really? Yeah. So Dude. apparently, she had this crazy contract, which paid her way more money than the UFC. Now she has been um, banned. From the WWE because she attacked a security guard. She probably beat him up. Ah! <laughs> it's like whatever, dude. <laughs> I think I have one last bit of news. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of sad news. Oh yeah, we have Olivia Newton-John. Uh, apparently, she has passed away. Uh, she is the Grease star. She died at seventy-three. Star of Greece. <laughs> star of Greece. There you go. She's a Greece star. <laughs> Greece star. She's the Greece star. Didn't mean to laugh, but hey, that's it. She's uh, she's passed away. Yeah, she will be missed. Uh, she she also looks uh like a good seventy five. Yeah, I didn't realize she was in her seventies. Yeah, right. Time flies. It's like, man, it's crazy out there. 
Yeah. Oh, uh, so anyway, we have a little bit of Marvel Madness. Oh yeah. Shut up and take my money. So I want to start this one off. Oh, go ahead. So apparently, John Bernthal is officially on board to return as the Punisher. He is apparently appearing in the Daredevil Born Again show. And I have a, uh, a follow-up on that that just came out today. Apparently, Rosanio Dawson was the first to say this, and she said that she heard it from a fan. And uh, she has since <laughs> walked it back on her Twitter saying, I, I can't be trusted. I'm getting intel from fans during signings and it's iffy, apparently. My bad. I get excited. <laughs> Confirmation is key when you're told what you want to hear. Rosanio Dawson. Oh, man. So, uh, I don't know. Apparently, What's that mean? Apparently, they walked it back. Yeah. Um, also, there has been some uh, Comic-Con news. So, we were, we were off for the week. Yeah. Um, Lots of Comic-Con news. There was a uh, Black Panther trailer. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll not watch that one today just because, yeah. you know, yeah. it's just a lot of like sad crying like yeah. T'Challa's dead. Oh, no. No, poor T'Challa. <coughs> See, I got some, uh, speaking of things that are mature and sad, apparently Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will be a quote unquote much more mature uh, movie per James Gunn. Okay. So we're going we're gonna to see all that is. I, I doubt we're going <laughs> to. He leaves his juvenileness to the. Uh, to the peacemaker. Yeah. He's um, so yeah, they also released a bunch of release dates. So I'll just kind of go through this really quick for yeah. everyone. Cycle through it, man. February 17th, 2023, Ant-Man and the Wasp in quantum mania. Uh, sometime in spring, 2023, secret invasion guardians, of the galaxy volume three, 2023 echo. It's a uh, summer 2023. It's a TV show. Loki season two, summer 2023, the Marvels summer, 2023 blade. Which I'm really looking forward yeah, to seeing. So am I. November 2023, Iron Heart, Fall of 2023, Agatha, Coven of Chaos, Winter 2023, maybe 2024, Daredevil, Born Again, Spring 2024, Captain America, The New World Order, May 3rd, 2024, Thunderbolts, <laughs> Thunderbolts, <laughs> July 26, 2024, and guess what? New Avengers movies coming out. Back to back. Back to back. Avengers the Kang Dynasty, May 2nd, 2025. And then to be followed, to be followed by <laughs> Avengers the Secret Wars, November 7th, 2025. Oh, man, I have another bit here. Um, I don't know if you mentioned it, but apparently Marvel Zombies will be the first animated series from Marvel to be released with a confirmed TVMA rating, and that will be set for 2024. Uh, that's a thing. Anyway, that has been our hot Marvel <laughs> Madness uh, segment. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> oh, I got exhausting. no more news, man. That's it right there. I got no more news either. So remember to like, share, subscribe. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, wherever you can. Do what you can. Yeah. We're also on a Patreon, uh, all kinds of places. Yeah. Uh, I'm your host, Mark Rubalcaba, joined once again by Mr. Opanetta, Clubhouse Movies Podcast. We'll catch you next time. Justice. 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 Call it justice.